Behold, a new version of the Printer Info Wizard to support the arrival of Clipper in Bed Leveler 5000. The Printer Info Wizard is a utility designed to simplify the process of creating new printer configuration files for the Bed Leveler 5000 bed leveling utility. If you're not familiar with Bed Leveler 5000, it's a revolutionary new way of leveling an FDM printer's bed without the use of paper or feeler gauges. Originally a Marlin printer only utility, BedLover 5000 recently received support for Clipper. A significant number of changes and nearly a complete code rewrite were required to see this happen. If you're unfamiliar with BedLover 5000 or want to learn more about the new Clipper support, please see our earlier videos with links in the description. One of the many changes to BedLover 5000 was the file format used by its printer configuration files. Well, today, I'm proud to announce that the Printer Info Wizard has been updated to support the new file format. In addition to a significant number of behind the curtains type changes, the user interface was redesigned and simplified. In the rest of this video, I would like to take you on a tour of this new interface. Like BedLover 5000, the Printer Info Wizard can be opened from the command line and supports a number of command line arguments, but today we'll be launching it by double clicking the icon. The main interface is generally the same, except the mesh dimension section has been removed, there is a new connection mode field, and some of the existing functionality has been moved around. The utility still supports opening existing configuration files, in case you need to make a change or want to base a new configuration off of an existing configuration. Please note that the Printer Info Wizard is unable to open configuration files with the old file format. Today, we are going to create a configuration file for the Clipper-based Elgu Neptune 4 Max printer. And while we could base it off an existing file, for this video, we are going to create it from scratch. If you've already opened a configuration file, or just want to get back to the default values, you can use the Load Defaults menu option. The first step when creating a printer configuration is to select the type of printer you will be using. The Bed Leveler 5000 software suite uses Moonraker to communicate with Clipper printers, so we will set the connection mode field to Moonraker. Notice how the port field changed to a host field. That is because the Printer Info Wizard's Clipper support goes through Ethernet or Wi-Fi instead of a COM port. The host value for the printer we are using is 10.0.0.101. The connection section also changed when we selected the Clipper connection mode. That is because Clipper support doesn't require any connection settings other than the host value. And since the host value is specific to a printer and not a printer model, it is not stored in the configuration file. Next, we can set the printer's display name. This is the name shown in Bed Leveler 5000 and can be anything that you want. Let's set it to demo for this video. With that done, we can test the connection to the printer by clicking the test button. If everything goes well, a success message box should appear indicating the printer info wizard was able to communicate with the printer. Otherwise, an error message will appear. You can safely click the test button as many times as you want. Nothing will be damaged and the Printer Info Wizard will never make any changes to your printer. Provided your Clipper base printer is on, connected to your network, and you entered the correct host value, the Printer Info Wizard should always be able to connect to your printer. Once you've tested the connection, it is strongly recommended to click the Home button to home the printer. While your printer might have already been homed after powering on, if you use the rest of the Printer Info Wizard with an unhomed printer, you might end up with incorrect results, since the printer might not know where it is. For this reason, it's safest to always home the printer, just in case. Now we can configure the manual probe points. The Neptune 4 Max has 6 adjustment screws and 1 central reference spot. Let's configure point 1. To do that, we first click on the lower left location in the grid to open the Configure Grid Point dialog. In this dialog, we can set the probe name and the location. Since this is point one, 
let's set the name to 1. If you already know the correct coordinates, you can type them in. Otherwise, you can have the printer info wizard query the printer. This is where we see one of the largest changes in the new version of the printer info wizard. Originally, there was a single query button labeled query and it would record the current location of the nozzle. Now, there are two buttons. One button labeled query nozzle still records the current location of the nozzle, while the second labeled query probe records the current location of the Z probe. This change provides a lot of functionality in how you position the tool head while using the printer info wizard. Choosing the correct button is important, however. While the printer info wizard can record the nozzle location or the probe location, when the printer configuration file is loaded into bed leveler 5000, the probe will always be positioned over the recorded coordinate. If you use the printer info wizard to create a configuration file and bed leveler 5000 isn't moving the probe to desired locations, you might want to try using the other query button. In this video, we will be using the Neptune 4 Max's LCD controller to position the nozzle to our desired test locations. Since we are currently configuring manual probe point one, let's click the one button on the printer's LCD controller to move to the test location. Before continuing, make sure the nozzle has reached the desired location and stopped moving. Otherwise, you could get incorrect results. With the nozzle in the desired location, we can click the query nozzle button to record the manual probe point coordinates. The X and Y values are both 30. However, just as a demonstration, let's now click the Query Probe button to see the difference in the recorded values. The Query Probe values are off by 24.25 millimeters on the X axis and 20.45 millimeters on the Y. Let's click the Query Nozzle button again to return to the correct values. You can safely click the Query buttons as many times as you want. Once the values have been set, click OK. You can now repeat the same steps to fill in the values for the remaining six locations. Once all the values have been filled in, we can save the configuration file using the Save As menu item. Well, that's the end of our tour. I hope it helped you get familiar with the Printer Info Wizard and mitigated any fears or trepidations you may have had regarding creating your own printer configuration files. If you do create files for printers not already included in the Bed Leveler 5000 software suite, please feel free to either send them to us or open a pull request on GitHub. Before you go, if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video so you can be the first to learn about our future videos, printer modifications, and enhancements to Bed Leveler 5000. Thanks for watching.